Hello everyone. In this video, we continue with loops in our programming language. Last time, we focused on conditional statement in R. You can check that video using the link on the right corner. Let us move on to today's topic. We will answer the following questions. First, what are loops? How they are used? Second, how can one employ loops in R? And last, we will see for, while, and repeat in R. So loops are one of the most fundamental and strong programming concepts in R and also in programming languages. A loop is a set of statements that can implement multiple operations for many times. Also, the word looping means iterating, which means repeating the operations. There are three ways of constructing loops in R programming. For while and repeat comments can be used for looping. For loop is a statement that repeats a group of statements for a certain number of times. While loop first tests the condition and repeats a statement or group of statements. And last, we have repeat loop, which executes a sequence of statements for multiple times. Let us start with for loop. The syntax is the following. First, we write for and then write the value in a vector. Basically, our loop will iterate over each element in the vector. By using curly braces, we write down the statements to be executed in each iteration. One primary example is printing seasons using for loop. Let us create a vector consisting of all seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. The loop for printing all of them in one on the terminal is the following. We write down for loop with a variable and a vector. For instance, we write season in seasons. This means that the variable season will iterate over the vector seasons. In each iteration, the variable season will be different and each different value will be printed using print function. Another example will be printing even values between 0 and 10 inclusive. To do this, we need a loop with a variable called value and a vector created by the function sec, which corresponds to sequence. The function sec takes three inputs. First, starting point, second, ending point, and the last, the step size. In our case, it will be sec 0, 10, 2, since we want even values between 0 and 10. Again, we use the print function. Executing the code outputs the even values between 0 and 10, including the supports. The while loops are type of control statements, which will execute a set of statements repeatedly until the given condition will not be met. Additionally, there is also a test condition that is tested first, then the body of the loop is executed. Note that the loop body would not be executed if the test condition is false. The syntax is pretty similar to the for loop. We first write the condition and the condition is met, the statements in the loop will be executed. Note that in while loop, we need to make changes over the loop to omit the infinite loop problem. Let us have a look at the first example. We will again print even values between 0 and 10 like before. This time, we first need to create a variable called value. The variable value has a value 0. Then we write down our while loop. Our condition is to check whether the value is less than or equal to 10 or not. We also need an if condition to check the value is even or not. If so, we print the value. And lastly, we need to increment the value, the variable value, by 1 to check the next number is in the sequence. Another example can be calculating the factorial. First, we need to specify number n. And let us calculate factorial n, which is factorial 5 in our case. After assigning n equal to 5, we then construct our while loop. We need a variable i to be multiplied with factorial. 
While i less than or equal to n, we update the variable factorial as factorial times i. Then we increment i by 1. Our last loop element is repeats. Repeat is a simple loop that will run a group of statements repeatedly until the stop condition has been met. This loop does not have any condition to terminate the loop, so one must specifically put a terminate condition within the loop. Additionally, one needs to use a break statement to terminate the loop. If no condition is provided, then it will iterate infinitely. The syntax is the following. We first have statements and then an if condition. And if the condition is met, then the break command will terminate the loop. Let us have a look at the example. We will again print even values between 0 and 10 like before. This time, we again need to create a variable called value. The variable value has a value 0, and then we write down our repeat loop. As you see on the screen, we need an if condition to check whether the value is even or not. If so, like before, we print the value. And after this, we need to increment the value by 1 to check the next number is in the sequence. Lastly, we check whether the value is larger than 10 or not. If so, the loop is terminated by using the break command. Another example can be again calculating the factorial using the repeat loop. First, we need to specify the number n, which is 5 in our case. And after assigning n equal to 5, we then construct our repeat loop. We need a variable i to be multiplied with factorial. We increment i by 1. And then, if i larger than n, we terminate the loop using break loop. Thank you for watching our videos. Please give us a thumbs up if you like our video. We will continue to create contents with your great support. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We will be happy to answer your questions. Bye bye.